What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert, and this is Eberron Arc 2, Episode 7. What's going on? Oh yeah, it's Wednesday. Oh, okay. there's a dragon. Boom, overlays updated. <laughs> I knew I was going to forget something. Had to. Well, you know, Boom. that's fine. It's, you know, it's... It happens. Quick often. fixes, baby. <laughs> hey, this is one big old manual production over here, damn it. Shit doesn't fix I itself. I know, I know. Fohawk is strong with you, Tim. Look at that shit today. It's a real mohawk, thank you. It's true, true. It's a real mohawk. It's so a real, real mohawk. <laughs> it's a European <laughs> shoulder bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's a European shoulder bag. <laughs> Uh, happy, happy, uh, yeah, it's Wednesday now. Woo! <laughs> what, what happy, whatever today is. Uh, dude, I almost talked myself out of reckoning hour yesterday. I was like, no, it's Monday. Like, about halfway through my pre-production, like, what are, you, what are you so uptight about, man? This is, oh, no, no, okay, it actually is Tuesday. Good thing you were working. <laughs> <laughs> mm. God. Today's kind of blur together now, you know? I just think that they're... Sometimes you just forget and then you're like, thank God I have like weekly meetings that I have to go to that like helps keep me on course. I'm like, oh, that meeting, it must be Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly, dude. It was a long day in the office too, but we, hey, we got some shit done, man. Good to see all your faces out there in chant land. Thank you for all the wonderful gifted subs and support and uh, generally just being awesome. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Just generally being cool being bad ass so <sighs> wait what did you beep out bad effing <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect I him to not word. beep it the second time <laughs> <laughs> i didn't hear what it was beeped real cute <laughs> anybody got anything special going on this week that um, the audience would love to know about I am doing Elite Dangerous in the morning sponsor. Oh, let's go. You touched I'm down excited. on planets, dude. Yep, it's going to be me and Captain Richard and uh, Burke. We're going to be doing some Elite Dangerous. Nice. So, do you have a uh do you have a ship or uh do they be my first time ever? Oh man, that shit that gave us my first ever. There's like, there are people that pick up and like, oh man, I'm gonna go, you know, I'm thinking about playing Elite Dangerous. And then there's the dudes who have a at-home cockpit. Like there is no in-between. Like, Yeah. <laughs> I've got some friends that have the VR cockpit and everything just set up at house. I'm like, geez. Fucking oh, space wow. pirates, dude. Literal space pirates. It's so much fun <laughs> to watch though. So yeah. Go check yeah, out Cletus. I've been really into uh, Subnautica. I'm loving the final update to it. Mm, how you can shit your pants in different degrees of being under the sea. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All the multiple ways to just uh, have a heart attack. <laughs> I, I don't understand how you play that game and not hold your breath. Like watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple of clips there's a clip of me knocking my green screen over because i jumped so far back and then like you can see my whole room <laughs> living room <laughs> oh, dude. i'm like I'm, I'm i get so panicked especially the teleporters that teleport you everywhere oh they scare me so bad <laughs> I had one I had one of the teleporters like grab me and teleport me like 60 feet right into the front of one of the giant wraiths or whatever. Oh, the, the big one. Dear God. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I guess that was my time to go. <laughs> You're uh I, I, I had a green screen massacre today. I, I walked in and was like, hur, hur, oh, bro. And dude, I just sneezed all over my green screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks like a blood. It looks like a bloody massacre. Oh, dude, it was. Is that chicken parm I see on the screen back there? <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, since since radio's brought it up, chat, I did find out one more way to make chicken parm. If you want to know his inside joke, if you uh if you want to if you want to make uh 2 to 3 colossal chicken parm sandwiches, you uh, do the 7.99 carry out order over at Domino's. 
and you do extra cheese, <laughs> extra premium chicken, extra sauce, get a couple of packets of Parmesan and red pepper and uh, do it Brooklyn style and you just fold them over. You just make a literally a, <laughs> a redneck chicken farm sandwich. You get three oh, of them yeah. for like eight bucks. There's your life hack. Maybe that'll be my second ever TikTok. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here first. Sounds good. I gotta say, like one of the most annoying TikToks to date is the ample crap ton of people who continue to put giant blocks of Velveeta cheese and uncooked macaroni in the oven. <laughs> Have you seen those? I, you mean you mean white people, <laughs> dude? They They're, literally take a giant glass pan and they put a block of Velveeta cheese in the middle with uncooked macaroni and then pour milk in it and then just start it up. <laughs> my uh, my TikTok can't be pulled out in public. <laughs> Welcome to the northern Midwest cooking. God, it's just gross. <laughs> fucking every aunt thinks they're the best at cooking. They always bring the weirdest fucking shit to every gathering. <laughs> Ooh, it's yeah. usually a casserole with tater tots in it. Dude, it's, my... it, it's it's like casserole tater tots, dessert with tater tots. Fucking your everything's got raisins in it. <laughs> everything's got <laughs> raisins in it, dude. My my aunt was notoriously so bad at cooking. The greatest day of our lives, she showed up with a tray of freshly popped cheddar popcorn <laughs> with like some extra hey. cheese seasoning shook on it. Like finally got like, all right, this is what I can do. <laughs> Oh my! Play to your God. strengths. Play to your strengths. Oh, it's dude, important. The, you had to because my mom was like, you know, ultra chef. You know, it was like walking into the, you know, the, the Iron Chef's gauntlet, and I'm like, uh, I brought some tuna helper. Like, okay, you just retire. You know, like, you don't want to walk into the Thunderdome with that. But hey, you brought some cheddar popcorn. Everybody ate the cheddar popcorn. It's like, oh hell yeah, fresh. You you pop some fresh popcorn. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with some cheddar popcorn. Especially with the evolved shit that they got now, like it's ridiculous. Just, just ask Adam last week. Oh, geez. dude, I was <laughs> yeah, he got through about I half of it. it. I was, I was just like so. But the thing is, is my my housemates make homemade like popcorn with like their own seasoning. It's like a whole process, and it's like almost, if not of equal level to like movie theater popcorn. So like I get it. I want I can't mm. stop eating it. But then Cletus is sitting here like just going at it with the guard and the and the lizards and I'm just like, yeah, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I want to know what happens. Like, please. <laughs> well, that's uh yeah, that's kind of like the um a fine dining fresh bread they make when you're like, "Oh my god, why is this so good?" It's called salt. It's Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There is a lot of salt in it. If you're not mistaken, Dude, it's called salt, garlic butter, or honey butter. I literally felt like a stuffed sausage after dining two days out in a row. On Sunday, I was like, my joints are stiff. From the <laughs> 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 haven't had this much sodium in a long time. Oh, oh God! Between the sulfates of of the wine and the sodium, it was like. Good God! I can feel my gout. I can feel my gout coming back. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> I yeah, it was crazy because the whole time I was like doing the role play, I was intently, like intensely trying to like come up with the special, the, the pro proper way to talk to these people. <laughs> And I'm looking over at Adam's scene, and it's just like <laughs> he, he literally has a bowl under his face, just shoveling popcorn. I was, I was in it. I was there next to you having this conversation. Like so Umber was just like, eating popcorn, organic popcorn from the earth. I don't mushrooms, I guess, but he was just he was just there, like, yeah, keep going. This is this is great. Umber corn, Umber corn, coming to a theater near you. Oh, that's good shit. Umbercorn. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should go ahead and check uh, lace, lace stream loots. That thing is having uh, to be updated quite often these days. So we'll refresh the cache, see if it shows up for us. This is a good time to talk about lace stream loots. Uh, if you guys go down to my panel section now, they actually got us an extension for stream loots, so you can see who's on top of the pile and whatnot. So if you, uh, uh, if there's nothing connected to it at the moment, if they ever do something that like goes up on the overlay, then, uh, then, then we're in business, but we're, we're getting there. They're doing, they're doing things. 
Uh, I can say this. I'm going to be talking with the rare drop guys this week. We're going to try and get you guys some bonuses because that has been a problem for Reckoning Hour because we have all these lovely incentives that have been built in from you guys following and subscribing to our channel. And that doesn't quite translate over for a channel that's only up part of the time. So we're gonna we're gonna construct a set bonus over there. So if you guys go and spend stream loot cards over with us, that you have a better chance of hitting your target numbers over there. So that means you you know more more value for you trying to save us in reckoning hour because at level three we need it. <laughs> Dude, we've had two NPCs brutally die. This is, it's the worst school ever. If you're tuning in at 6 p.m. CDT on Tuesday nights, it's a Hogwarts style school set in Strixhaven, a magic, uh, uh, the gathering world. And yeah, we've had two students die back to back. Poor Jeremy. Hey, the so. darker side of Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you uh, lawn dart and sometimes lawn dart you. <laughs> <laughs> when you got 10 hit points it's easy to get permed <laughs> yeah so uh this week as well we got the commission game back which feels like we haven't done that in freaking forever so it will be back on uh, a friday night and uh yeah normal boulders gate tomorrow at 9 p.m a cdt Let's test that loot out. There's that loot. Da -da -da -da. Good deal. Yep. If you guys want to know where the modifiers are, they're all down inside those panels. You get them for just being a lovely subscriber VIP mod. It gives you all the ways and you can tack that on to make your rules apply and affect the game. If you need to where to find it, exclamation loots is the place to do it. And just to let you guys know, I still have exclamation roll turned off. <laughs> <laughs> I see it throughout the rerun, man. Feverishly hitting that roll, usually followed by an LOL. <laughs> but it is currently disabled. The real question is, does that test count? Oh, that did I roll? Did I roll high? Oh man! You did. You rolled a seventeen. <laughs> and dun, 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 dun. we all know you got some modifiers. I have no mods. <laughs> I got no mods, bro. I got sorry. Oh, I got no mods. <laughs> I got Alpha no mods. Skyrim over here. Alpha <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> so, picking up where we left off last week. As you all joined forces with Wormcrest's militia, led by Father Camden and his paladin in arms, Jazvak. <laughs> I wouldn't say Jazakovic, and I'm like, it's not Jazakovic, man. That's not it. It's just Jazvak. Jazvak Sragiana. You all made a push headed towards a lizard folk encampment closest to the city. You guys were able to push throw th through those woods successfully, only taking minor points of exhaustion on the way through. Navigating through possible traps and even scouting parties, you arrived with a choice. Taking the high ground and sending the archers and the rest of the party to attack from above or literally storming the open gate. Upon arriving, you found them just as surprised as you were. However, you quickly found out that these are not the lizard folk who you thought they were. After a long negotiation period, we have a standstill going on right now between Josvik's militia, the lizard folk, and your own party. At half dragonborn, 
half lizard folk with gold scales calling you forward, Cletus. Upon taking your hand, that jeweler's kit, literal pieces that your father had that you found underneath your tavern began to emit light cutting through your own fabric bringing down this cylinder of dawn in which a coaddle has appeared before you we pick up as it's still materializing in the space in front of you I am Mesocoato. Whose character am I to weigh? Cletus falls back onto his butt kind of shaking can't believe what he sees in front of him what is your name oh uh, me you talking to me? You just roll a perception check. Okay, it didn't do it. Remember, Do you need again. to go up to your top bar, click the B. A little red bee. <clears throat> it's working earlier. I had to reload, so you probably have to refresh yours as well. Uh, okay. Give me one second. I have no time for your D and D Beyond reload. <laughs> You must wait, Three. sir. The fourth wall. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Hit the B. Hit the B. Now. You still have blasts going. I'm assuming that's where the 1D4 is still from, correct? Uh, do you want me to turn that off? No, because we're still in the, we're still inside that same encounter. Okay. Just reminding you everybody what it's from. Okay, gotcha. So a nine. You're still locked in to what's dead in front of you, but you can no longer see the golden scaled leader of this tribe. All you see is this bright yellow light that surrounds this wing serpent that is giant in nature. Now I have a sidebar question for you, Cletus. In your upbringing, did your mother, father, or anyone from your immediate family tell your stories and histories of Eberron? Do you want me to do a history check? No, I'm, I'm going to evaluate on 
based off of did they tell you a lot of stories as you grew up was that something that was was passed down all in your of, family or is it something of, of topic of interest for you all of my father's conversations were based around bartending taking care of the bar um showing me the ways of like you know proper bar etiquette uh, mining i was taught a lot about mining okay so really um, really remember really if you practical. remember correctly when we went down in the mine i thought it was literally just like iron ore remember mm -hmm. so everything i remember was very practical very much about nothing about dragons there was none of this, this is all new to him all right i want you to roll history chant with disadvantage <laughs> so two times Remember, you can just go to hover over your history and where the B's at, you can uh, hold control and that will uh, turn into a, a minus. Gotcha. But it rolled two, uh, two D4s for us. So let's decipher this. Sometimes technology ain't perfect. I'm sorry. No, it's a <clears throat> it's a twenty. It pairs one d four with each roll, so it was okay. an eleven plus five plus four. Okay, it did it, it. It did it right. Yeah. I just wanted to double check the math just to make sure that it did. Yeah, if you hover over the numbers, it yeah. shows you what specifically was rolled with that one. Rolling hot, boy. <laughs> with a 20 maybe it, maybe my dad talked to me while i was while i was sleeping <laughs> doesn't have to be your father it can be picked up knowledge and as a bartender you've heard a lot of stories true and the fact that you're speaking with a coaddle a dragon This is the closest thing to a religious experience that you've ever had. And while you're focused... My dwarven bread. <laughs> <laughs> and as you're focused, you finally take the time to kind of look around and you don't see any of your friends. It's just you and Metzicoatl. I want you to roll another perception check of what this place feels like that you're in. It's almost as if you've woken up from the haze of a dream. Well, everything was so intense just seconds ago, there was a haze and a slight fog to you while you're standing in this light. You have come here with an army. Yet you seek to retreat so quickly. Yeah, we didn't come here to fight this, 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 these people. These lizard folk, these aren't the ones we want to fight. Mr. Dragon. And just who is it that you wish to wage war with? 
Oh, uh, they they's another group of dragons. They uh lizard lizard fellers. They're like smaller. They don't have the the nice feathers on them and whatnot. And they 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 just tore up our whole town. They destroyed our they, they destroyed so much. Almost took down my whole tavern, which is everything to me, Mr. Dragon. They also took one of our friends. It appears that you don't understand the whole situation. Yet you're quick to raise arms. Tell me, Cletus. Why should you go free? I mean, it's, I could think of a million reasons why we could go free. But I'd say the main reason is we don't want to shed any blood today. We're good people. All of all, all five of us came here. We're good people. The militia, they're good people. They're hardworking folks from our town. We've just been, you know, commanded by a very unruly leader, person who thinks that the only way to win a war is to kill everything around us. We're in the wrong place. This is not our fight. I'd like to go home. I have a tavern waiting for me. I got people who come to visit me. And I got friends. This tavern that you speak of. I want you to hold it in your mind's eye. Show me where it's at. So he just starts to think real hard about the front door and the town and the streets and the new roof. He can see the new roof that got put on it in the rocking chair. I want you to make a wisdom saving throw with disadvantage since you're willing. Those rolls. Wow. Good God. 18 and a 19. <laughs> Hot shit. All right. We'll pick back up with you in just a second. On the outside of this cylinder of light. What are we wasting our time for? He is probably not even alive in there. All this negotiation leads to nothing and they killed him before our eyes. Right now, everyone outside of that cylinder of light cannot see or hear this conversation. Nor have you understood the words that Cletus has been saying. 
He's been feverishly negotiating. He hasn't had time to translate back to you what he's been talking about. You have no idea whether he's brokered peace, whether he's offered to sacrifice himself up, or what has gone on. You have seen him just negotiate and then walk into this cylinder of light, which seemed to appear after he touched that dragon folk's golden scale hand. Can I make an insight check to like, just gauge the body language that was going on before the, the touch happened? Sure. Mm. Man. Um. Hard to read a conversation in a language that's so, so alien. Oh, you have blessed too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't so, remember. Bless is no <laughs> longer, I mean... bless is no longer active. Or you. For me? For any of you. Oh. Remove that, I guess. Uh, Umber's gonna, <clears throat> if he can, he's gonna walk towards um, Jazvok. Patience, my friend. You should know as a hardened warrior never to run into the fray. It is oftentimes better to wait and let words wage the war. I do not take advice from you. I barely know who you are. Then the same could be said that I would not listen to you and the oncoming struggle. You are with for my I militia. Know who you are. As a request, I am not beholden to you or anyone but myself. Good. It is good to know that you are comfortable with dying here. <laughs> if it is my day. So be it. Hey, dipshit. I don't like when he talks metaphysical either. But we don't have a lot of goddamn choices right now. And I don't feel like starting all an out war if we don't have to. And our friend, he talks a lot of shit. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Because if this thing goes south, we're not all walking out of here. Hey, Tash. Was I, was I able to walk up next to him or... Were, were you able like, to hurry. walk up next to who? Jazvok. I wanted to walk up to him. Yeah, we're, if we're, we're people wouldn't let me. We're all we're considerably close enough to where you can do that. We're kind of like held in this little okay. kind of rectangle, probably about fifteen foot by fifteen foot. Yeah. Oh, I can't I'm, I'm actually with eye. recoil on this one. I uh. I don't feel like dying today. After all, you did march us into the wrong camp. I did not march us into the wrong camp. You all just have change of heart. No, these don't look like the lizard folk that attacked us. You marched us into the wrong goddamn camp. <laughs> As if you think you understand all lizard folk, do you? 
mm, I know that that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy, in fact, everybody here, don't look anything like the ones that attacked us. And I know, I was up right next to him while you were shooting shit from the ridge. Maybe only one kind of lizard folk wants to deal with your shitty places in your shitty bar. We've had plenty come to our homes. No matter what their scale colors were, we see green, dark black, purple. Well, then maybe this is your first chance at peace with them. We did not Let come here for peace. Do. We come here to represent the true flame. They are so there's evil. no peace in the true flame? No, there is no room for evil in the true flame. Spend my you of all evil people is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I do know. But I don't see evil here. Much like your people, they do nothing. They only like to talk while others die. So continue. Keep talking. Back inside of that cylinder. Cletus. Yes. As you begin to picture your home in your mind's eye, You begin to see a third person projection of yourself, almost in astral form. And you see two individuals. One of them, the golden scaled who you last touch. The other one, more of an immaculate representation of these lizard folk themselves. But one that you can tell with those feathers bleeding from white to peach color, you can tell that it is indeed Mesocoatl. As I suspected, Cletus, your home is our home as well. You see the items that you've touched or items the tribe of shimmering glass have touched many, many centuries ago. You do not yet know what your tavern was built upon. Cletus, your people are in grave danger. More danger than you may even realize till after today. But I want you to know It is now your job to conceal and hide those secrets 
that are below your tavern. There is much we must talk about. But I fear we do not have the time. Not today. Hey, hey, Mr. Mr. Dragon? My name is Metzokoatl. Uh, Metzokoatl? He's listening. Are you are you talk? Cletus is shaking really bad right now. Are you talking about my father's uh uh mine? Yes. Okay. I will do my best to take care of it for you. In the meantime, you have much to learn. I will try to bridge this gap. But you must trust. I, I trust you. When Sybaris fell, pieces of that great dragon crashed into this earth. And so I was born. As a protector of this planet in a long lost age, I still fight for peace, Cletus Buford. And if I can trust you. Maybe there can be a new peace found in Kebora. I, uh, you can trust me. I've always stood for peace. I promise. Roll a persuasion check. Oh, there's that old persuasion check rolling all those dice again. <laughs> there's the old persuasion <laughs> coming right back at you. Oh my Don't god. Understand. It's just that one. It's, it's probably expertise that's making it go nuts. <laughs> probably. Yeah, it's actually probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me it that persuasion, baby. Needless to say, Cletus was able to persuade him with 93 dice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Cletus, what's your uh, what's your plus on your expertise? I'm, I'm, or your uh, it's my persuasion? Highest. It's my highest well, what, nine. What? It's plus nine. All right, I'm just looking yeah. at the code on it. My two highest is perception and deception. Yeah, it's it's doing something weird. It's got one d twenty, comma ten. KH one plus nine. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to dig in to see what, what it's coding. So in the meantime, do you want me to just roll a D twenty plus I, nine? I have the. Uh, I, here's your formula. I just put it in the uh, Eberron chat inside Discord. Thank you, buddy. You're very welcome. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All good. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Hey, he was talking to me at this point. This has been his conversation. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. As he reaches out with his hand to clasp with yours, memories begin rushing towards Mezzacoatl. Unfortunately, it is piles and piles of drunken, ridiculous stories of folks like Slim, Bill, and McDermott, and the debauchery of the tavern. So much extra cannon fodder fills its mind. Son of a bitch. I can see. That I certainly have my work cut out. But destiny has chosen you. So we hey. will let destiny run its course. And as your hand is extended out, you can feel this absolute searing heat across your wrist. As you can feel this mark being burnt into it. As this mark of the coaddle in a dragon mark of Sybaris runs and wraps across your wrist. We will be in touch soon. But you will leave here today and take these aggressors. But mark this choice today. You are now with us. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Hey, can I can I tell you one more thing? And you fade from existence in that bar.
and so begins to fade that cylinder of light that was once there. Your lips do not move. Unlike when you send a message as a cantrip where you're sending a silent whisper. This thought literally escapes from your brain. And what is that, Cletus? I can't remember. <laughs> it's the most Cletus thing ever. <laughs> Gotta tell you something. Ah, I don't remember. I can't remember what I was thinking about. Our work cut out for us, indeed. <laughs> your dragon mark has already been added to your sheet. If you go to features, you will see telepathy wisdom has been taken. Your wisdom has gone up by one point. You are now able to speak telepathically with any creature as long as you share the language, which is all of them for you. Unless they have telepathy, they can't send things back to you. But unlike detect thoughts, it's the spell that you normally get. Now, you are a part of the shared consciousness of these people, of which will be revealed over time. The rest of you, you see Cletus materialize back as that light begins to fade. Umber smirks. No, oh, good. He is back. Come on, Cletus. Bring us some good news. Hey, guys. <laughs> Do you have fun in the big cylinder of light? Crazy bastard. Um... I, yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, do I remember any of it? Like, can I talk to them about it, or is this more or less just I? No, can you only were, you, tell them what. No, you remembered everything. You can relay, and it's encouraged that you do. Okay. Our last conversation, I didn't know if you meant that I had no memory of what was going on, or if at this point. I could remember. No, it was just it was it was just a very strong feeling while you were there. But you were, you remember everything. You've you've done nothing but roll high numbers until the very end. So <laughs> you remember um, basically, everything. Basically, Cletus feels very unsafe around. Um, is it Hasvak? Jasvak. Jasvak. Um, after the conversations that I had with the drag, with the, the, um, Metzicoatl. Metzicoatl. Um, I feel very unsafe holding any regular information, like any of the information that I want to speak to my guys about, I don't want to give to him. So what I think I'm going to do is give a basic like we'll just go with it hey everybody how's it 
What's going on? We are uh, waiting for you. You tell us. Well, I'll be honest. Uh, I met the the leader guy. He was over there. And uh, apparently we're good. We can go. And we are to believe this as he steps in to God knows what dark magic they have persuaded over him. Yeah, we they he told me that everything everything's good. Uh you know, we're gonna we'll talk later, you know. He said go on, uh, Mr. Cletus, and get on out. This is foolish. We will all die here today. Knock your arrows. Uh, no. We're going home. You you can come with us if you want, or you can stay here and fight alone. You need to make a persuasion with disadvantage, Cletus. So whatever you just gave me that copy paste mm -hmm. you'll just roll that twice by the way everyone you have your bless back he's back on your plane of existence Tell those archers. As those can archers. Put your arrows away. It's okay. We're going to get out of here. Mm. Josvak looking back. I will remember all of this from all of you. Every single one of you traitors. When you get back, there will be no home for you. As Josvek and his war priests begin standing back to back, looking like they're about to make a decision. Unconvinced by Cletus's words. What is everyone else doing in this tense moment? Latash turns to the, uh, the rest of the archers. All right, come on, everybody, back to the town. Cletus is offering half-off specials, Vol's Ale. We're getting out of here, we're going home. We're gonna drink our troubles away and we have peace with the lizard folk now. Come on, let's go, everybody. As, as, he, starts, as he starts picking a song. <laughs> go ahead and roll a, uh, go ahead and just roll a flat persuasion check. Half of them are already in, no matter what. They're like, hell oh, yeah, I'm so yeah. Let's go. A couple of them look at each other. God damn, did he just say free beer? Did he just say free beer? Did he just say free fucking beer? He did not say free beer. I heard you half off, okay, damn? You think this is a tiny, it was a tiny little hut or something over here? Uh,. I will be, I'm next to Jazvok and I'll just say, I am prepared for death. You cannot win this fight alone. Come with us. You still have ways to grow. They both begin to slowly back up. There will be no home for any of you. 
they will all learn of the traitors here today. He just cuts him off at the end of his last word and says, don't worry. We got plenty of room at the end. As they back up past that door. Metro Coatro may be done with you, but I am not. As the rest of you hear that golden lizard folk talking back to Cletus, emotions towards both of the lizard folk back to begin closing the door back behind all of you. As the archers have left and so have the war priest in Josvik, that door begins to close. Uh, Cletus, uh, are, uh, we, are we staying here? Are we going home? Uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Mr. Uh, so Cle, hello, Mr. What are you doing? Why are you closing the door? You told us we could go. Mr. Kowato said you could go. Yeah, can we go ahead and get out of here? We're going to leave y'all alone. As he begins walking forward. You have far too much to learn. And I'm to go okay free. with that. As you can hear from behind the walls, see you are a fools. You will die there. Idiots. Make this be lesson to all of you. We leave now as they feast on our friends. Are you happy? You fed them to the dogs. This is what your indecision has done here today. It has killed your neighbor. Lest you remember it next time. As there are but seconds before this portcullis completely closes behind you. Are any of you doing anything? Uh, Cletus turns towards the leader guy and kind of, I guess, uh, I don't know the exact wording to it, but basically just gives himself up to him, um, offering him his life in place of his friends. If you would, I, I know I got a lot to learn and I'll do my damnedest to learn it. You know, without any type of, you know, conflict if we can. But if you'll let my friends go, I'll stay here and I'll do whatever you need me to do. I'll stay right here. I won't go nowhere. Roll a uh, persuasion check with disadvantage. All of that's still on like lizard speak, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god. 
What the? F- Dude, you were rolling hot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Twenty four. Somebody's disappeared. got hot dice right now. Mine are always hot. Hot shit. <laughs> hot <laughs> shit. Bomb. Your offer is admirable. But they have all been touched by the light. They must stay. They must learn. And by learn, do you mean like like some kind of training or are you going to hurt us? Just a small chuckle is all you get before those lizard folk that are standing back behind the rest of the party begin to shoulder them forward into the center of this city. Everybody else, what are you doing in this moment? Yeah, what are you guys doing? What are you going to do to help me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Do something. <laughs> hey, I've seen you talk yourself out of so many situations in the bar with drunk patrons and unruly customers that I'm I'm 100% leaning into you. I mean, that, I, 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 look, I look to you when the doors were closing and you weren't running, so I'm just kind of like, oh, if Cletus isn't running, then... I'm, I guess I'm not running. I'm gonna go along with this. We are so absolutely and utterly mm. f- right now. Patience. This is even this is even worse of a situation than when we were in before. I mean, oh, we, we we still don't know what happened in the light, Recoil. Just maybe maybe he's got something. He's just not sharing. Well, Please, sure. what the fuck? What 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 are we doing here? Why why are we being? Pushed away from the door now. What's going just on? Trusting Cletus. Hold on. He's got something. Hey, God damn it. I've Watch st- where you're pointing that thing. Ah. Umber's like already like five paces ahead walking towards the center. Just like super calm. Just he's just going. Doesn't need to be forced. He just walks there willingly. Just goes to the middle. And you actually see him like hold his hand towards the ground. And he starts to like lift up some of the dirt and makes like a little like elevated chair if he can. Ah. Cletus, uh, Cletus How looks over close? Ahead. Hold on for just one second. How close do you get to Cletus? Me? Yeah. Uh, I just walk. I mean, I just walk towards him. Like, I'm just, <laughs> I we're we're being forced to the middle, so he just walks willingly, like towards Cletus. As you take those steps out forward. Just five arrows <laughs> all in the space in front of you. As you get about that close. Roll a perception check. Interesting. I mean mix. What he actually anybody? means is roll a what he actually means is roll a one for us real quick. <laughs> wow. Wow. You Damn. son of a called out. <laughs> Episode seven. Already an extreme <laughs> hater. I love it. <laughs> okay, well maybe I need to refresh now because it's not working. Everybody's gonna bad. everybody's gonna have to refresh because I restarted the program right before we went live. So anything that you did in the five to ten minutes before gets to be refreshed. Oh, now I can move. That's probably why. All right. Um, Click that. And. Oh, I'm back. 15. 15. Looking around, you can see the lizard folk in the elevated positions 
all with drawn back bows. You can see the shaman concentrating on a spell inside its hand. As you can hear the lizard folk calling out back and forth. At this point, I'm going to cast tongues on myself so I can understand what's going on here. It's not concentration, so I can cast it multiple times. So, as you cast this, you keep hearing a phrase over and over again. Thrown in Ishtat. In the fire. Over and over again. Thrown in Ishtat. In the fire. Cletus, you hear this phrase as well? Let him know that I hear it. Cletus, what are they talking about this fire for? Cletus, while you're able to interpret all languages, this conversation that you've had with the golden scale has been an actual language. These other lizards do not speak an actual language. They're speaking in allegory. So I can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> then that mark on your wrist begins to burn and sting like a hundred needles in your wrist. <laughs> I need you to make a wisdom oh, saving shit. throw. Eighteen is the DC. Ooh, come on, baby. You're going hot tonight. Good God. Thrown in Ishtat are in the fire. You begin to see images inside your head. In particular of a situation where you see two other lizard folk. And you can see them in a situation of a burning village. And you can see this village being burned by what look like black scaled lizard folk and dragonborn. And you see these two lizards trying to save other individuals and pulling families and helpless lizard folk out of these flames. This shared consciousness you understand the allegory and the story of which they are telling that there is still danger in their house.
and it makes sense as a person who comprehends languages in the way that you do. These lizard folk don't need a language because they share a common form of consciousness. And they speak from tried and true communicated stories. This all clicks in your mind. You're able to relay back to your party the understanding that they're still worried and do not trust you yet. Cletus turns to Laytash, knowing that he can hear me. Laytash, something's wrong. They they don't trust us yet. They 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 think they're in danger. They feel like danger's here right now. He he, th I saw it. I could see it. I they they're scared. They're not even, they, they're just frightened right now. Laytash, you're now able to comprehend whenever you hear that during that spell, you understand that it means that they are threatened. Love decoding languages. That's so awesome. Guys, just lay low. The natives are restless and they don't trust us yet, but we're not in any danger right now. Just don't go flashing about those, those fancy little crossbows of yours, Karamesh. I mean, I wouldn't fucking trust somebody who kicked down my door and just bum rushed in with weapons hot. Then I guess we have a common understanding with him then. Uh, in response to Tim's comment earlier, I never got to finish because we got cut off. Uh, Tim asked me what was going on and in response, Cletus turned towards him and gave him like that, not really like a shush, but like just put his fingers over his mouth to say, just, just calm, like basically letting him know just to calm down. Don't, don't worry. I got this. <clears throat> so does the does the leader know that I've just figured this out? Can he feel it too? Or should I relay it to him? No, he can understand your words. I know. I I, under, I know that. I'm saying can he understand that I just figured like I cuz it was a vision, right? It wasn't words. It was just no, a no. vision of what I he saw. He heard you relay this back to your group that... Okay, gotcha. So he knows that we now know that they'd feel unsafe. Yes. Mr. Lizard Feller, Mr. Mr. Leader Guy. My I'm name tell you right now. is Dothiki. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm not good with names. I don't even remember half my friends' names. I can't remember my birthday. I don't remember much of anything. But, uh, Dolph uh, Mr. Sir, um, I just want you to know I, not one of the people that are here today, not one of these, these men have any intentions of hurting anyone here. I know, I know, I saw what, what you guys are worried about. I, I saw the danger and we have just no intention of hurting you. We, we have, we have, we're, if anything, I'd love to learn. I'd love to hear what you have to, to, to show me. I've come from a long line of people who are good caring humans uh, my father was a good caring human he always did the best he could for everyone and I can promise you 
without a shadow of a doubt that I would do anything in my power to make sure that you're okay, that nothing happens to you guys. And Cletus starts crying. Roll a persuasion check. The presence of the protector is strong on you. But the others must be weighed as well. Bring them forth. Okay. Guys, come here. Laytash, Garamesh. They're, they're not. They're not going to shoot at Umber again, are they? No, no, your point, guys are fine. <laughs> Umber's Umber's cross-legged, like right next to the arrows, just sitting on the ground, <laughs> just like waiting. <laughs> He's just sitting on the ground waiting. A lizard folk gets next to the side of you. <clears throat> just kind of elbows you to get up. Hold a hand up and get up. And- let them guide me wherever they want me to be. You guys should be able to see at this point that Cletus is very emotional. Darthi, he walks in front of you first, Umber. Question. I bow. I cannot remember. Did you go inside of the mine underneath Cletus's tavern? Yes. When you were inside that mine, what did you do? Uh, I went down and I was able to get the bracers out and I got the jewel crafting box for Cletus. And did it like a boss too, don't forget that. It, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, dope, dope monk shit. The, the triple black backflip off of the top rope. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I think I had like the natural 20 perception check to see the box, I think. Or something cool like that. I don't remember. But yeah, that was pretty much it, though. The gold scale holds out its hand to clasp yours, Umber. With one I... hand over the top, just looking for you to hold your hand out like this. I hold out my right hand. As you make contact with those cold scales, I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. (laughs) You have got to be kidding me. Cletus, what'd you call earlier? Perfect. You want me get to those heartbreaker ones in chat. Get them up there right now. <laughs> do you want Do you want me to roll for you, Umber? Ah, oh, no, it's okay. I got this. <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> 
all of it is just like a rush of blood to your head as if you woke up from a dream too early. <sighs> you strain. But you just pass out. And you all see Umber's body drop and hit the ground. And it's not pleasant. It looks like the bad UFC knockouts. Twisted ankle, head hits first, shoulder, as his body just crumples over the top. Is that all of us? What the hell did you just do to him? Yaramesh instinctually, like, he doesn't draw, but he, like, hands are now very quickly much closer to the hand crossbows. Give you the elbows. Just relax. Relax. Is he dead? We'll find out in a minute. Just relax. I got the coin first. Cletus uh, looks over to Umber. Uh, Umber, you all right, buddy? Is there any response? No, he's out cold. Okay. Can I see him breathing at least? You were, f it's hard to tell because this has all just gone down. You don't know if he is or isn't at the moment. If you think I'm gonna give you my hand, you're out of your mind. Not until I know he's all right, God damn it! As there is just a tense standoff between Recoil and Darthiki. I'm not doing it. Why don't you just uh, skip him and uh, here, take take my hand here. Just, just uh, give him a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, give him a second. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's method acting. Just undeniable. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> a, a 17 on that persuasion. <laughs> well done. Darthiki still staring back at recoils moves down the line to you Latash and sticks out his hand if nothing to fear puts his hand out holds. wisdom saving throw Oh, good news is I have advantage on Wiz. Oh! Thank God you did. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Dirty 20. What gives you advantage on wisdom saves? Uh, my class. My... Uh, something. Oh, yeah. Just, the the Kalashar. That's right. Uh... When I look in the saving throw box, it says advantage on whiz. <laughs> Give me one second.
I feel like somebody should probably do something about Umber right away because if he's not breathing, it could cause death and we need to fix him. Guys, I've got a backup character ready. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to roll ones too? It doesn't matter who I play. They all roll the same. <laughs> <laughs> With that 20, eyes roll into the back of your head. Laytash. as it begins a sequence that you're all too familiar with. As you feel your mind drifting away to the plane of dreams. No, it's just like meditation. I love this. Garamesh, you see this as it moves down the line. Is, he, is uh, Latash still standing? Yes, he's still standing. Eyes rolled up in the back of his head, though. <laughs> I just, the, the whole time I just stare at Cletus and slowly extend my right hand Palm down. Cletus nods at him. You're one for two. I better be still standing after this old man touches me. He extends his hand out. Wisdom saving throw. Oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Nat 20. Talent has been yeah. restored. <laughs> <laughs> that old man has touched him and he is standing. <laughs> Show me on the doll. Show me where he touched you. <laughs> Cletus, you see just a small cylinder of bright, radiant light flow up and around his body before Garamash's eyes roll into the back of his head. Cletus, for you, it's rather quick. No touch is needed. It's merely a blink of your eyes. And as you open them, you're literally standing on mountains. Staring back out in Kbar. Recoil is not there. However, Umber is just pulling himself up from the ground. I reach out my hand to help him up. Take your hand. Umber, take two points of exhaustion. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Hmm. I've been better. Yeah, I would think so. You took a rough fall. You hit Did the I? ground pretty hard. Yeah, you hit it real hard. I thought you were dead. 
No, there is no death for me. Only ascension. Well, I thought you were dead, but assuming that you're correct about what you're saying, you're not dead. You're here with me. Pulled back up to your feet. You are all staring out with what you see as the entire land of Kebara laid out before you. It's surreal on this mountaintop. A once in a lifetime view. With everyone in your party except for Umber. Or I'm sorry, not not uh, Umber, but Recoil. Hmm. That golden scale. Walks up to your side as you're all in a line staring over the country somewhere on the top of these in-world mountains my name is Dorothy and today will be our first lesson. I need everybody to go fill up their beverage. Go take a quick <laughs> bathroom break. Interesting. Oh. <sighs> Time to get another Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> I, my map never loaded. Did anybody else have that problem? I took a minute, but I got there. I need oh, to. Uh, uh, I I can I can preload you guys. I forget to preload all the time. Yeah, it's okay. I got it now. I had to refresh. So we're on the end world mountains. Looking out. You are on the plane of dreams. Currently on top of the end world mountains. somewhere up in here nice so we're with the the the, the mr dragon darthiki yes you were with darthiki oh okay not the other one you were not with metzikoatl no Goddamn recoil and his stubbornness. <laughs> <laughs> Once Umber drop, he would no go. Uh-uh. Yeah, he wasn't putting up with that shit. Not a chance. Dart thick. The <laughs> dart thickness. Evening, Locke. You can see all your faces out there. Be honest, I thought they were going to kill us in there. They still might. <laughs> <laughs>
history lesson time. Interesting. History, uh, history many, and learning a new language. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I link you the uh, the Star Trek episode that their language is based off of. I think I've seen it. <laughs> I, I honestly, I've I've seen every Star Trek there is, uh, multiple generations up until, oh, God, what's the new one? Yeah, this is Picard. So next generation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> DS Nine, next generation, and there was one more that I saw. <laughs> and then and then from there, I was like, I'm out. I'm I've I've I've, I've done I've done my duty in Star Trek land. <laughs> Shady already called it out. <laughs> <laughs> Voyager. That was the last one. Janeway. It's very cool. It's not the way I expected it to go. I honestly thought there was going to be some conflict there. I have a feeling there'll be some um, there'll be some comeuppance when we finally get back to uh, when we finally get back to Wormwatch. If we get back to Wormwatch, and Cletus' tavern may have, uh, <clears throat> we'll see. There's just certain things that you've done where conflict was uh, was avoidable. Things that you don't understand yet. It's very hard as your DM right now not to rush the things that you don't understand. <laughs> Thank you, that you for not rushing the things we don't understand. Because honestly, the, the, the more the story develops, the more it organically happens, the more I love this world and that we're living in. Because it's it's so different from Forgotten Realms. Just so vastly different. The slow burn is so good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The slow burn is so good. <laughs> yeah, Cletus promised him that he's going to take care of whatever's down there. So now the whole time this is happening, Cletus is imagine like wanting to get back so he can make sure it's safe, you know? Yeah, now all of a sudden you're like, oh shit. What, I, yeah, he's like... <laughs> I you just want to get back there and fix it. Make sure well, again, covered. it's it's everybody was very respectful who went down in that hole. Had we not been, it would have been a different story at this point. Oh, it'd be very it's different. Crazy. It's crazy that the dragon didn't ask about uh, Tess. I mean, I, I where Vess comes into it at this point, I mean, we still don't know. Or Vess, Vess sorry, Vess was taken by that that crazy ass eyeball. Yeah, Vess, Vess is an other tribe. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, these are not the same folks. Oh, get out of here. We're still, <laughs> sold, we're still sold out in my area. I tried again. <laughs> I've got... That's all right. Two six-packs, and that's it. So I'm saving them for these D&D &D nights. <laughs> I got my last one upstairs. I'm about to burn it. Go burn it. I'm jealous, man. I can't wait to try it. I'm excited for when you guys oh, can get me from. So good. So good. I'm just, I'm in to try a beer that Adam is gravitating towards. I, I want to know what his taste buds uh, are like. Because when we, we've well, talked you about get beer. this bad boy. <laughs> this thing is so good. Oh. So good. Dead or that slow brew. Mango Heffenweizen. <laughs> so much fruit, so delicious. Yeah, I love me some uh, some good fruity beers. Yeah, one of my favorite things is uh, uh, Moscato. I love drinking Moscato. I'm a sip Moscato and do it with no dance. Girl, drive it. Sorry. <laughs> I was I was vibing on that. It was good. <clears throat> yeah, I really, really, I really did not know where that was going to go. I was really worried that multiple times I was worried it was just going to pop off into a fight. I was I was worried when he started to probe you about the bar because I knew 
from my notes that there was there was things down there. There there was that house of whatever was shimmering light that we had seen the mark from. And I didn't know if he was going to pin that on you or pin that on your father and play the guilt card. It, there was there were so many different angles that could have happened there. And um, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where it goes from here, because, I mean, there really is no guilt. It's It's kind of like. You, you, to, in his eyes, you're like a child that doesn't understand the ways of the world. So he's going to take you and teach you. That's actually the truest form of what's happening. Because <laughs> is literally, if you could imagine, like the simplest of brains, like a mouse wheel that's just kind of rotating over and over with a mouse in it. He just barely can comprehend most everything because he's just really slow and life is kind of like beat him down and <clears throat> all this information is a lot for him right now. <laughs> he's overwhelmed. He's special. <laughs> Ain't that special? I mean, you you have to understand your 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 you're you're raising i mean you were you were literally raised to be a barkeep from cradle to now so i mean that's that's what you know you know the bar what your daddy has taught you you know what you've learned behind the bar you know the stories so i mean this has been your existence yep there's crazy possibilities when you have two bards <laughs> Everybody all there? <laughs> that depends on what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've traded cough medicine for uh, Captain Dynamite. I'm good to go. <laughs> good to go. Before we pick up back on top of the mountains. Back inside the camp. As I see your eyes and that light go around your body, Garamesh, I take the time to react and go down and pick up Umber. Come on, you son of a bitch, wake back up. I go to check his vitals, see that he's still breathing. As I prop up his arm up over my shoulder, I can see his eyes kind of rolled up in the back of his head as he slumps over. What the hell did you do to them, you son of a bitch? That gold scale, still able to communicate equally on both planes. Take my hand and you will see. I don't want any part of your damn hand. Get that thing away! As I'm holding Umber up, he places his hand on my shoulder. Automatic wisdom saving throw fail. Oh, crap. I see now. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't give a shit what you see. Your magic tricks don't work on me.
as Recoil is unable to dream. Oh, shit. Everyone back on top of the mountain. I'm sorry, your friend cannot join us here. His biology does not seem to be capable. Is he safe? He is safe. I am with him. He is concerned for all of you. Can, can you tell him we're okay? I will. It will be up to you. Convey these lessons back to him as we have with many of our people. Since the beginning of time, we stare out from the top of these mountains. This used to be all of our lands. Now divided. Split between tribes who wish to bring all of civilization to its knees. And the forces of the living and the light For in your tongue, we are known as the Cold Sun Alliance. In our tongue, it is known as the Masvarek Uala. But you must know we are not worshippers of the cold sun. But we are the defenders that wish to never see it on this plane again. As you all look up towards the sun and you can see it slowly just begin to leech away as you can see it fading away in darkness. For this is what the age of demons and the overlords of the past a world with no light That is a world with no Kebara, no Corvair, only pain. Our people, the 24 tribes of the Cold Sun Federation, Uphold and protect that overlord for never returning again. Its name is Marsvarak. You have all touched 
but pieces of how we've defended ourselves for generations. These minds that touch ancient sites, they do not know that they tamper with the very mechanisms that protect us from being launched into all out calamity. These dragon shards have been infused with our light. Meant to keep the cold sun at bay for never returning. But every piece, every extraction, it brings us closer. To the end of everything. I understand that your people have suffered. But not all scale folk are the same just as much as the soft skins are not either. You would be surprised to know that we even have individuals and emissaries inside of New Throne now. But we understand it's hard. New settlers in a new land. He waves his hand as it moves Kabara from this chaotic battle and age of demons into its more prosperous form now where you can see the rivers and the jungles all spanning up and about. There is more than enough room for all in Kabara. Not just the soft skin. Not just the scales. This land can be for all. But everything can be lost. If the ignorant thrive, And those who know do nothing. You came here today seeking vengeance. Did you not? Be yeah. honest, we did. We did, yeah. you used your own ability to decipher to shed back that ignorance this is but of one of many to come How are we to stop an all-out war of one that people do not know is coming? Cletus, your family has been built from mines, yet these are the same mines 
that put our world in jeopardy. So you must understand. Those kind of acts, they're seen as aggression to the end of everything. And they must be met swiftly. It is not our people's nature to wage constant war. But we know there won't be anything worth living for if we don't. All of you have touched these shards. I can feel their strength on you. There is a chance. But it will take much strength and resolve. Just I'll as do quickly. What I can. Go ahead. I was going to say, I'll do what I can. I'll do the best I can give you. I can't guarantee it's much, but I will do whatever in my power I can do to make, you know, give it my best shot. It will take more than your best. And that dream begins to dematerialize. As you all open your eyes back up, standing in line. Including me. Yeah, you're, you're propped up right now over my shoulder. Thank you, oh. Recoil. Hey, buddy. Wow, anybody else feels really good after that? Or is it just me? Bubber, you're back. How you feeling? You okay? I've been better. I'm tired, worn out. I need rest. Yeah, you hit pretty hard. I was telling you, like you hit real hard. Latash can can attest to that. Recoil. Thanks for looking out for him. Sorry you couldn't uh, catch what just happened there, but uh, we'll fill you in. All right. Be honest, I don't really give a shit. Oh no, you you do. You'll want to hear it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, unless you like a plane of darkness, eternal. Yeah, you're going to want to hear this. Tori, we'll fill you in. I hope they told you some good ghost stories while you're up there. Mm 
more than I've already seen. All right, bubs, we're gonna sit you down over here on this stump you made. All right, buddy. Thank you. And I sit down <laughs> and just kind of sit and rest. Can Cletus use his tele telap? Te how do you say it? Tele his tilapia? <laughs> yeah, can Cletus use his plate of tilapia tele now? <laughs> That's a great fish taco right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, I, and I use that tilapia to. Yes. Uh, how, how would you like to use your telepathy? I was thinking to use it on recoil. I don't know how he's going to take it, but I'd like to use it on him real quick. I'd like to use my uh, my call home. <laughs> my call. <laughs> what to call brain? brain. <laughs> Whatever he calls brain. <laughs> Coming in. <laughs> Go ahead. So Cletus like turns kind of away from the crowd and kind of takes a moment to let every all the noise around him just clear. All he can hear is the birds chirping, the flapping of the wings of the butterflies. Even the leaves rustling on the ground around him when the, when the wind blows. And with everything quiet and no voices, I attempt to talk to Recoil. Listen, Recoil. I know this is awkward, but this is Cletus. I want you to know that I know how hard it is for you to trust anyone right now. Especially what happened with your best friend. We were all here. We all saw it. We've all, we're all here with you on the ride. We know how you feel. And I know how stubborn that you are when it comes to, you know, trusting people. But from what happened today, these people are not here to hurt us. No one here in this vicinity is going to hurt you. Matter of fact, I feel like you're safe. There's people out there that are gonna try and hurt us and that's our battle. We'll fight that when it comes. But just know you're safe right now. looks him back your way. He's been listening to everything. He can't respond back. But he just stares that thousand yard stare back towards you, Cletus. I look over my shoulder and look at him. So what are we doing now? I would like to rest. If allowed. There is still much that you do not understand. And there is too much at stake. We cannot yet allow you to be free. Uh, Mr. Leader guy? 
My name is Darth Thicky. Oh, sorry, Mr. Thicky. Um, you mind if I were to, to make ourselves more comfortable? We will take care of arrangements. Please follow me. Cletus looks over at recoil and nods at him again. Recoil unimpressed. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. He assumes what that everyone he is assuming that everyone is underneath magic at this point. But he is compliant. <laughs> As Darthy he turns around and begins walking to one of the wooden huts. You all are flanked on either side by these just massive hulking lizard folk. Just absolute units on either side. I could take them. A recoil. <laughs> Arm wrestling match. Either one of these hulking units on either side of us. Who did he? Oh. What's that? Cat got your tongue? I'm sure it was some bullshit out of your mouth anyway, like Tash. Let's see if you can arm wrestle one of them. Mm. How about you go suck on some more magic they gave you? Sure. Be miserable. At least I still got my own goddamn brain. Uh, do you? Sorry, what was that? What'd yeah. you say, Umber? You know what? Maybe you should just stay here forever. You'd you fit don't mean right it. in. You don't mean it. I don't give a shit. No, it's fine. He's just lost sight of exactly why we're out here. He doesn't care about Vest anymore. He's off doing his own thing. Umber, go ahead. You uh, don't you know, even just, know just her. Ign ign don't ever say her recoil. name again. He's going to grab you by the throat. Oh. Go ahead. Don't you forget the reason we're out here. It's, it, I can feel your fingers tightening around my throat. The whole reason we went to the lizard folk was for her. Don't forget her, because that's what you're doing. As he tries to hard swallow. I know why I'm here. You want to kill me, go ahead. But at least I remember. And I'm willing to give up anything to find her. Persuasion check. Disadvantage. He's going to pick you up off the ground. Can we intervene? Yeah, no. I was just gonna say he's gonna pick you up <laughs> off the ground and just and just toss. As several of those spears 
are drawn on both him and you, Laytash. I'm coming, I'm coming. Next time, I'm gonna cut that tongue out of your mouth. Just remember why we're here. As he makes his way into this hut. Very, very humble accommodations. Essentially stump like blocks, roughly the size of cots to lay on, a roof that leaks possibly in a couple of different spots. I mean, you do realize I got multiple ways to make it not like that for us, right? <laughs> you speaking out of game or in game? In game, like, oh, out of game. I was talking to you. I, maybe, I maybe you it. do, maybe you don't. I just didn't know, like, your reaction to them giving us our own comfort or, like, giving them us our own. I didn't know if you were denying me of that. You don't know. <laughs> okay. Continue. Um, Umber will like assume this is where we're sleeping tonight. He's just going to kind of look back and then look in front and he's going to find like a little spot in the corner, maybe next to like the trunk of like a tree or and then he's just going to like you're just going to see him start to like lightly dig the dirt on the ground in a spot and make it nice and loose almost like this fresh dirt with a nice layer on it so it's a bit softer and then he's just gonna plop down back and head against the, the base of the tree and he's just going to close his eyes and he's just gonna sit there probably fall asleep unless someone wakes him up <laughs> <laughs> My, my dude's over here on shot two with a Moderna. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, boy. Shot two, beer three. Feels real good. But he'd stay up for a bit just in case anyone needed him or wanted to say or talk to him about something. And he'd be thinking a bit and he would be sitting there with his hands kind of clasped open. And he would just be like, you just see him, his thumb rubbing his right hand just consistently that's all this is a chance for rest I will be back As Darthiki disappears from the front, you can see the two large lizard folk flanked on either side of your essential house arrest. Gonna hang out by the door for a minute. Oh, those uh, two big dudes. Hey, you, uh, they... do you guys have music at all? I mean, is is there some sort of lizard folk scale music? You know, music. See, so kind of up like chords on his guitar. It's kind of looking to see if he gets any response. They don't even turn and acknowledge your presence. Uh, 
Well, I guess it's going to be one of those stops. So he just kind of slides back down by the door. I was hoping to maybe learn something. So be it. Can they see in? Can they see inside? Or are they basically on the outside? There are a couple of windows. You want to go up to one of those windows and roll a perception check? Um, I don't. Do, I guess I'd rather roll to find out what their response would be for me doing like a like a tavern. Um. You know, something to make my guys calmer and more relaxed. Yeah, so you, know, you, you begin trying to cast a spell. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to uh, to cast uh, the tiny hut and see if I could create a better inner, like make it more relaxing for my guys for the rest of the night. Should I do a perception check? Uh, to begin to try to cast this spell. You just can't manifest it. Hmm. Something is stopping you from being able to use your magic. I'm going to go start a fire then with a very sad face. And there is a spot for a fire. I'll start in the working center on a of the fire. Side. As you all you got see, that fire, Cletus. Cletus yeah, I'll take care struggle of struggle to be able to cast his magic. This goes for everyone from cantrips all the way up. While I'm doing the fire, I turn to Laytash. Um, not realizing whether or not he can tell what just happened. But just to let him know. Listen, buddy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what kind of shit we got ourselves into. But right now, I don't have the ability to do what I can normally do. I can't feel my normal feelings. I can't. I can't see my normal. Uh, I can't do what I can normally do. I don't have it anymore. Or you don't have it right now. Yeah, I don't. I. I wanted really badly to... You remember back at the other camp? You remember the traveling bar? Did? Yeah, the old traveling bar. <laughs> you know, the unlimited liquor all night. <sighs> I do. I tried. I do. I tried. It just, it just pewtered out. Right in my hand. Just sputtered out. Probably has something to do about where they put us. Just say, uh, had a couple of rowdy nights and a few, uh, drunk tanks where my magic touch couldn't get me out. Do you by any chance have any whiskey on you? <laughs> Cletus, you know I stuffed as much in my pockets as I could after that oh, last little life traveling bar. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I get one right now? Oh my God. I was, I mean, I was saving it for recoil, but I mean, no, fuck recoil. I need a, I need, a, I need some whiskey. <laughs> I need some whiskey right now. Even, uh, <laughs> even that solicits a smirk out of recoil as he's breaking down and cleaning his cannon over the corner of the room. Just hand you a uh, beat up old boot flask that I have. Yes. As I hand you that one, I reach into my other boot, pull out two more. 
He quickly uh, twists the top off and just starts chugging it. Getting it all over his, his mustache and beard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make some dinner. I don't have much, but I'll make whatever I can for you boys tonight. I think anything would be welcome at this point. A little snack before we go off to bed. See what tomorrow brings. Yeah, I just got to get some. I got to get some food prepared for when. Uh, for when Umber wakes up. Yeah. He needs something just, to eat. I can't get that view of a kid bar out of my head, man. That was crazy. I'll be honest. I ain't seen nothing like that before. It's weird to see places you've traveled from the air. Imagine yeah, that's well, kind of how been, recoil we've been feels. Over that whole place. We've seen all that stuff. And then now we could, we could see then you know, we are able to see it from above. Like that was crazy. No, I'm, I'm talking about the towns, the strongholds, those, those places where I've played that were just raucous dives. And then to see them from way up there like that, it all looks so peaceful. It's it's a lot simpler when you look at things from the. It's could you could you imagine? Less complicated. Could you imagine seeing it from there all the time, like from above, like that? Can you imagine seeing it like that, and then not seeing it anymore? See, so looks over mm. to recoil. Both of us glare at him. I don't know what I want to do first. Whether I want to kill you myself. So that I see the light fade out of your eyes. And the last bits of humanity the bullshit that comes out of your mouth slowly fade away. Whether I want to see these people that you now so trust of which hours ago you were ready to raise to the ground. I guess we do have one big psychological experiment. So now it's up to you. Determine what is real and what isn't. Maybe Tell that's just something from humanity that I'm not going to understand. I'll tell you what's very real. Cletus looks up from his fire. You got a bad attitude. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure if you're smart enough to know how in deep you are, Cletus. So we'll consider it even. I mean, I trust my heart. And my heart says that we're doing the right thing. My heart's never let me down. Your heart can barely pronounce someone's name after they've given it to you twice or three times. I don't think that's my heart, Recoil. That's my brain now. Don't be picking on my heart. 
Cletus. I, I come from places where that gets you killed. So consider yourself a cat with nine lives. Because there's plenty of places in this world where second and third chances don't exist. And while you may think I have a bad attitude, I was born into your hellhole. Your greatest mistakes are my reality. I'll tell you what, I'll take Rico's bad attitude over whatever the fuck just happened to us out there. I'm glad you guys are all in Fairyland and happy-go-lucky juice. But anybody who can put people into that kind of state should be taken with a grain of salt and a fair amount of suspicion. At least with Dick General and, and his sidekicks, we knew what the fuck we were getting into. Those people are easy to read. These people are but, not. But wouldn't he have killed me? If he was gonna if he was gonna do anything dangerous that would have you know, meant my life, wouldn't he have just done it? How do you know he hasn't already? You could be a ticking clock right now. Your head could explode while you sleep. Spraying all of us with your brains. No! I don't want to think about that at all. Who knows what he implanted in, into our heads while we were there. Roy, recoil was lucky. What do you think, Laytash? You think that he put something in our heads? Half my life I live in the dream realm. I don't think he put anything into our heads. I don't I think, think so either. He showed us pieces of a world that we don't get to see. Every civilization has stories. Every as boogsters. This is theirs. He essentially shows you may have their to, revelation. You're probably going to have to cut your video radio so we can hear you. Essentially, he was just showing us revelations of their end. tale of every society when you live in the dream world these are the things you see yeah they showed me uh, they showed me something while I was out there I don't remember much of it but I do remember that some of their people were on fire and they were trying to save them and they were hurting and they were screaming for help. And people talking, were trying to front and ish head in the fire. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, they that's, showed it to me. That's how they communicate danger in their language. It's it's. it's different than us they communicate in stories but again it's very similar if you go town to town singing songs it's all just stories through song stories of life and tales 
Like when I tell stories at the bar? Yeah. We all have them. Even you, Garamesh. Your boogie monsters. House the Rask. Can't tell me they're not the reason this realm is in danger. Financing dragon shards in the region. There's more there. But I'm just a guy who sits in a bar and plays songs. I listen and interpret. Maybe I'm wrong. You say they speak uh, of danger. Eternal darkness over the region? I would say that's danger. From the dragons that's been pulling sites like the one at Arcletus' bar. I turn and look your <laughs> way, Umber. Umber's just what you all thought was sleeping. It's just been listening intently. I. We are a cluster of trees in different seasons. Some cold and harsh like the winter. Others excited and yearning for spring. Everybody has a different path. Yet most find us on this one. I simply went forward as I was instructed. I do not know what will come to pass. I feel I have my own mind. But to try and make someone understand, well, in all faith, they must choose to believe. Recoil is not wrong in his viewpoint, nor is Garomesh, but also Latesh and Cletus, you are correct. It's choice, it's driven, it's purpose. I do not buy or believe in much outside of myself and what I am capable of and will be capable of. And that is the only thing I need. And this is the path for me forward. That's a lot of gold stars for everybody, but I hate to break it to you, Umber. There are winners and there are losers in this life. And right now, this little prison of ours, we're the f losers. <laughs> prison or opportunity. Yeah, I don't think it's a prison. Can you leave? Then be my guest. Walk out the front door. He just jumps up from the fire and just starts walking out the front door. <laughs> <sighs> One of those spears. Massive glaive comes right in front of you. Okay. It just bears down and opens up its teeth, dripping this saliva back down on the ground. This hulking beast. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe it is a little bit of a prison. Remember, they don't trust us yet. 
Would you let somebody who you didn't trust walk around in your house? You might say, you know, keep them a prisoner. For now. I can be a prisoner today. I can be free tomorrow. Patience. Something I feel this group lacks. In time, we will understand. In time, decisions will be made. There will be answers. For now, I would appreciate quiet. I wish to sleep. Your optimism's the loudest thing in this goddamn room. <laughs> Not optimism. For once, I actually agree with him. Faith. There's a difference. Uh. <laughs> I feel like Garamash is just banging his fist on the wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! You got Guys, I'm loving this so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. You have uh, you got one peacemaker and two two philosophers and two soldiers. It couldn't be any better. <laughs> it couldn't be any better. Yeah, I, I'm literally was looking at that and I'm like, I've got Latesh and Cletus who are like, I drank the Kool Aid, and I've got Garamesh and Recorder that are like, fuck that Kool Aid, and Numbers like, hey, I'm just at the party, you know, I'm just here. It's like, I got somehow got involved in this party invite, and now I'm here. I brought the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> brought the pizza, but you brought the wrong kind. That's the yeah. Problem. It's all. It's Everybody just. It's. Pizza. It's mushroom only. It's just <laughs> mushroom. Ham and pizza. pineapple for everybody. Half the people in the room hate ham and pineapple. The other half just <laughs> yeah. hate pineapple. And I'm just saying, you got to send it back onto the oven a couple of times, man. You got to get that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that crispy bottom? <laughs> How many days? When's our line in the sand? I say we go to bed and we see what happens in the morning. Maybe tomorrow's our day to go home. And if it's not, See what happens the next day. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait this one out a little bit. No. Maybe we become thrown in Ishtat. And we wake up to fire. Night soft skins. Night, recoil. Night, Umber. Night, John Boy. <laughs> Night, Garamesh. <laughs> so much talking. Umber's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Garamesh is posted not directly in front of the door, but offset from the door back against a wall and on the heavy crossbow the whole time. Recoil's right there with you with his cleaned out cannon. He's just got this bad boy pointed at the door, leaned up, and he's going to go into his maintenance mode where he still sees and watches everything. But just sitting still Please. in place. Cletus is laying flat on his back in front of the fire with his hat on his face, just snoring super loud, oblivious to everything around him. 
sitting on the other side of the door. I'm just looking at you two. Small chuckle. Latash's eyes roll back into his head and he goes off into meditation back to the dream world. Mm. Wisdom saving throw first for you, Cletus. The sleep takes hold. It's not much different than any other night passing out from an exhausting day. But then your dreams fade. And you can feel that mark even in your own dream state. That dragon mark on your wrists of Metzikoatl. And Sybaris. Burn in your hand as you open your eyelids. You see another scene playing out within your dreams. You see lizard folk that resemble the ones that raided your tavern. The same ones that brought down Genesis Recoil's airship. You see them pillaging not just human establishments. You see them raising other Cold Sun Federation tribes. Taking everything. But most importantly, when you see them get to these different locations, they're looking for shards. And what's most interesting about it, when they find these dragon shards and they take them into their possession, you see this radiant white light. It almost looks like flame. It looks so similar to the same flames that have it, it used to ignite around the arrow tips of those members of the militia of the silver flame. But whenever these other scales would get their hands on them, they would be quickly shrouded by darkness. Consuming up and over them. You can see them harvesting these pieces, raiding mines, raiding villages. And then you see the eye. And the eye is the last thing of Ergorot. Before you blink again and then see two. And these are different eyes for they are far far more indistinguishable Tied to a large darkness as if you f can feel its presence moving forward as you see this massive ancient black dragon unfolding its wings over a nation. And as you stare at it, you first, you think that may be 
the cold sun itself, but it is not. It is not Mazvarik. It is something different. Garamesh. Wisdom saving throw. Do we have Bless still or no? No, I bless, bless, did, yeah. bless me long gone. <laughs> I just thought a D4 rolled before, so. Uh, Umbra's always blessed. Thanks. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Holy yeah. shit. Sucks to suck. Have fun getting two levels of exhaustion, bitch. Did this happen the last? <laughs> did this happen the last time? Did you roll a one back in uh, Wormwatch? The tavern? When you no, went to sleep, his, his no, fitful night of sleep. Then that was it was a low roll, but I don't. No, it might have been a one. I don't know. I don't remember. Dude, I think you rolled a one every time on sleep. <laughs> yeah, it was a one. God, you were. Yeah, yeah because I went into heavy detail. <laughs> love it. You unloaded it. on the ceiling. Love it. Love Holy it. Let's shit! Hear it. Let's hear it. No. I love There's it. A reason. There's a reason my character hates dreaming. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Let's do it. That you, <laughs> Adam. Umber's just glad it's not him rolling the one this time. Hell yeah, it is. I'm rolling that twenty, baby. <laughs> Your eyes Four. open, Four. and you can feel those grains of sand begin to pour over your eyelids and eyelashes. throwing back this ghillie suit alone in the desert miles from where your dream last took you just sort of stumbling forward I'm going to let you take care of the rest of this because they need to be in your own words or your DM to me I'll grab that DM quick I got it for you okay I'm gonna remember this next time I roll on that one I'm just gonna narrate my own horrible things As I meth methodically pack up the ghillie suit, the wave of disappointment that my quarry, my target, didn't cross this path, my information completely wrong. I look towards the horizon one way then the other and I see a flash and it immediately sparks panic of white hot light of a day where my memory and my life was completely wiped from me My arm itches. The mark that the morning left on me always reminding me continually growing. I look down on it. And I see patches of reddish orange hair. No. Her. Growing from the mark. I immediately panic. Take out a blade, shave the fur off. 
back to looking more like a birthmark or a tattoo. I blink. And now I'm back at the scene of my last dream, the slaughter, as I'm walking through the bodies, kicking one, poking another, turning one, making sure that all of them are dead, all of them are gone. The sign of the silver flame is on all of them. Every single one. I don't loot the caravan. It's not what I was here for. One of the bodies stirs. I turn it over and I see that my aim on this one wasn't as true as I hoped. Still struggles. And I lean down as close as I possibly can, and I whisper in their ear, Tell me, Father, should I give you mercy? Did you give my family mercy? Do you listen to the voice in the flame, Father? It will guide me, but I am Does long it... gone from this plane. Does it call to you? You cannot stuff. Out of belief. Oh, I'm not trying to snuff anything. I hear the voice very clear. And it tells me that the voice you hear is the whisper in the flame, the darkness in, in the flame. You do not hear the true flame. You hear a false prophet. <laughs> Funny, coming from the only one who's killed anyone. <laughs> I've killed more than you, and I'll kill many more. But you are the evil in this world. No. We just wish to live. I am the cleansing hand. Sent. By what you think you listen to. And fine. Send me to be with the rest of my people. For our flames will always burn bright. Brighter than the evil that dwells in this world. And even brighter than the evil that dwells within you. Finish your dark deed. Finish it, God damn it. And I walk away. and tell everyone. Make sure that everyone and no one knows that if they follow the false voice of the flame, Mirren's tears 
will find them. And as you leave, Father Camden, on his knees, your dream fades. I spend the rest of the night with a smile on my face. You may all click the long rest on your character sheets. Play Tash. I need you to make a perception check. Oh, that 20 was so close. 17. It's another night of you being the troubadour of the plane of dreams. Spending that time that you usually allocate to yourself and practice and songwriting. You could fill us in. What other things do you do during your times of rest? It could bring out pieces of character that we wouldn't understand. And I don't want to put words in your mouth other than what you've given us. While he meditates, he spends his time honing his craft, and he also reaches out for the one. In his dream plane, he searches for the only other Kalashtar that shares his quarry bond. One of only two left that are bonded to this Cory spirit. Every night, reaching out with his thoughts and his feelings, trying to find where this being is at on this plane, knowing nothing about them, just searching. Most every night, it's the same. It turns up with nothing but this faint pulse somewhere on this realm. But he doesn't know where it is. No direction, no heading, just an echo of sounds from a person he knows nothing about. And it haunts him. But yet it comforts him at the same time that he knows he's not alone. There's still one other Kalashtar out there that shares the same bond he does. And as he reaches out, he just continues to focus on his playing, his songwriting his thoughts, his journaling, observations from the day. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. (sighs) 
Oh, wow. Don't ever believe dice want to tell a tale. <laughs> Leading in heavily, just on a time to get away of just how serious the last 24 hours have been. It's a relief. To be able to just channel back into song. And you don't dwell too deep. You understand it's a it's a long play. But while you sit there strumming a tune, you can't think about how silly it all kind of feels. That everybody's trying to push back the darkness. But the only ones they're fighting are each other. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Umber. You're exhausted. You've been in contact. With the literal world itself in the past 24 hours. There's a lot on your plate. But as you drift to sleep with that exhaustion. It's hard to remember anything. Wisdom saving throw with disadvantage. Eleven. What's the most important thing on your mind right now, Umber? Where do your thoughts gravitate towards? Umber drifts off to sleep. And at first, he envisions the mountainside that he was at, not but earlier today. But as he looks out, it's hazy it's unclear and he looks down and he sees a small pool with these trees and the next thing you know he's standing there ankle deep in the water the water is like glass perfectly clear and he stares at his reflection his reflection stares back he can see the sky behind him. It's night. Trees blowing. And the reflection points down a path. And it's almost as if himself came bursting out of the water, running down the path. So I give chase and I run and I run. And as I watch myself dart in between trees, it's almost like I'm losing him or I'm losing myself. And I start to see images that I can't quite make out on the trunks of these trees as I pass, chasing after until eventually I see a long road 
before me. And at that very far edge, I see myself simply standing there, waiting. And it beckons me. So I begin to approach. And as I begin to approach, the form starts to get blurred with the sun that seemingly rises behind it to where all I can see is this bright, radiant light that begins to then ascend to the sky before I could reach it. And I just think to myself, soon, soon. I need everyone make a constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Cletus, Good you God, are on fire Cletus. tonight, dude. Holy sheep shit. <laughs> Good God! Oh, whoops! I actually have the bless on that. <laughs> Holy sheep shit! <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I rolled. I rolled a two. I I don't know if I've ever seen somebody roll out a disadvantage in in just incredible ways. It's three times you've been in the twenties and disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Well, looks like I need to roll for Tim. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. I'm just no good at ratchet robot. <laughs> Alright. Cletus, I want you to roll a 1d4. It's wheel or whoa, that's wheel. <laughs> Umber? Mm -hmm. Actually, no, first, uh, first is Laytash. Laytash, I need you to roll 1d6. Oh, that's wow. Okay. Garamash and Laytash, I want you both to roll a 1d8. Me number. Uh, I'm sorry, Umber. Did he say uh, Umber? I, I, I meant to say Umber and Garamesh. Oh, Umber and Garamesh. Well, Two more ones coming in. Let's see them. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know. I watch it rock from a one to a seven on my screen. You're muted, Tim, if you're talking to us. Sorry, I'm not. Go ahead. Oh, okay. We, we just need that. Up. We just need that one D8 roll from you. I got a seven. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I got, got a seven. seven. Oh. A one D8. Oh, roll. Oh, must not have rolled. Hold on. Oh, that's why. Jesus. 
Okay. <laughs> it didn't roll. It rolled on D and D Beyond, but not on here. Hold on a second here. There we go. Oh, <laughs> there's a cool one. Completing the circle. <laughs> circle of love. I <laughs> first. This is crazy. So, <laughs> Cletus. Yes. You're the first to wake two days later. Recoil. Is no longer in the room. Uh oh. You can still see your friends fast asleep. And in between the fog of you rising. You can tell there's something in this fire. Whatever's been lit in here has increased your slumber. And you fade in and out continually back in to the Masvarak Ulala dream Laytash you realize quickly that something is wrong you've been wandering the plane for far too long even for you to get lost in the sauce working on a song yeah lost for a handful of hours but you've been asleep for three days Ow. S something not right here. Why am I still in the dream plane? <sighs> focus on my body, focus on my body. <sighs> trying to willfully force himself back into his body. Garamesh. You've been asleep for four. I wake up like it, it's that feeling in an, like a, a mid-afternoon nap where everything is wrong, everything hurts. And you, you have that like slight panic moment that you think you overslept, and you, and, but you also felt like you slept for like five minutes. Like your, your brain is just like weird and twisted and you don't know what's going on because you just fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> Umber still asleep and will be for 10 days. Oh, wow. Man. After day one of me being awake, I just look at Cletus and I do the, like the, the Will Smith meme where I'm like, and I'm like, fucking told you, man. They put shit in our heads. I just like tries really hard to. He's so sore. For his old body, this amount of sleep he just did was way too much. And he just can't. He's trying to comprehend what's going on. 
But every time he starts to even get a grasp of it, he starts to fall asleep again. Aramash, the question is, uh, I used to why at what end? Why? Why put us down for this long? And where's recoil? First round recoil! of wisdom saving throws. For day one. Seventeen. Fitting. Am I rolling? I don't think so, right? I'm still asleep? Yes, you're rolling. Everyone who's asleep is rolling. Eleven. And then you're beginning to piece it together. During this long slumber, you've been going to school. Imparting the ways of the Cold Sun Federation while you've been asleep. Each one of these nights, Darthiki has been imparting wisdom in the story of his people and the 24 tribes. Some taking longer to understand than others. Showing you the signs of allegory and the lessons of the tribe over and over again. Playing these individual learning lessons out so you can see their perspective. just floods of these memories end up coming back. And you can understand the plight of this area now. You understand why these people do what they do. They're not savages. much more cerebral protectors than anything else. But it's a culture so foreign, so different. You know it will be hard for anyone else to understand. But in the culmination of your lessons, explaining the dark forces far to the west, slowly over time, you're all revealed visions of this great ancient black dragon that exists in the land. You understand the tribes that are underneath it poisoned all by the original cold sun you can feel in your heart of hearts that eye of Urgarod is some sort of strong shaman far out to the west But you leave these vision quests knowing 
that the Cold Fun Sun Federation is one that you can trust. As tedious of an alliance it is, you've never had a stronger feeling of being united against something so dark, so evil. But the final lesson that you remember Darth Tiki taking you through is one that makes all sense to you too quick, Laytash. As you realize the same faith in the light that these lizard folk have imbued on those dragon shards is the same faith that lights the flames of the silver flame. They are one in the same. I'll be goddamned. Two different cultures, two different pathways. But Darth Tiki's final lesson shows you that their belief is essentially the same. Some of you taking longer to remember and catch up as you've slept longer. Not being able to remember the dreams as it can be difficult. But slowly, bit by bit, you all are able to process and come to this revelation. Waking up to that fireplace now long sizzled out. No recoil inside your room. The days of which you were able to wake up earlier than each other simply a haze conscious but not moving stuck somewhere between dream and reality now all of you are awake at the same time finally able to move on your own faculties They crammed for four years of college and just a few night. Yeah, I really wish I had saved that whiskey for now. What the fuck is college? That's where you learn things. Maybe that's shit. Never mind. Oh, like school. My daddy couldn't afford Bard College. <laughs> <laughs> I want a new Balumpa now, daddy. You know, Cletus, you assume something about a people and then you get to see the look. You wonder why they fight. Yeah. And they're all the same damn thing. Yep. 
Wait, so you saw that shit too? Yeah. I think that's the reason. That's the reason we were put in here. Jesus. It was crazy. Tell you what, what I got a bad that? headache. Hey, what's up, Umber? Hey, feeling Umber? Confused. <laughs> I'd expect that for as long as you've been asleep. And how long have I been asleep? Seven days. At least a week. Longer than I've been awake. For that, I can't tell you. <laughs> Cut somewhere in a fog between this plane and the dream realm. Absorbing this mass amount of knowledge about this land. Hmm. It makes sense now. You got the same? The pure flame. It makes sense. They both believe the same thing. They just go about it in two different ways. Now, just a point of order. The true flame is like the crazy Pentecostal over here. Then there is the silver flame. Those are like Christians. Those are like your everyday Christians. These, These are here still crazy. They don't make you wear denim skirts and shake snakes. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm used to calling them the pure flame as that is how they think of it. Everybody is the purest of the pure and the the best at what they do and what, what they think and what they believe. They all go about it the wrong way. (laughs) Well, I am convinced. I chose the right path. You have faith. The light will guide you to the right path. (laughs) But I I will guide you. Or forged friend. Yes. Where is Recoil? Oh crap! Where is Recoil? What the hell? I'll take a look. Recoil the door. First thing that you notice as you guys look out the front door, those large lizard folk are gone. that means we can leave our little home prison I like gingerly walk outside kind of sore and feeling a little weak after sleeping for 10 days straight (laughs) Nothing like working up shittier than when you went to bed. But you don't have two points of exhaustion on you. Yeah, there we go. I have seven. <laughs> you just might have sepsis from, you know, not pooping for ten days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk my happy ass outside. I'll follow you out that door. 
look around. What do I see? You see a robed Darthiki beginning to make his way up the winding path. You stare out at a strange scene. Well, it is night. It's disgustingly bright all around this village. As you can see fires. Staring back, you can see recoil tied up. Over near the far scaffolding. Bound and slumped to the side. You can see Cletus. If if anybody were looking, you'd see that Cletus's face is like mixed between like regret and like almost just as just like if you woke up for Christmas and there was nothing there. Like just like couldn't believe that he just got let down. Not knowing what's actually happening, he just feels like he got let down. And as the rest of you begin stumbling outside, Cletus, in your head, you hear Darthiki first. This was always the way, Traitors. You are all now living records of the tribe of Shimmering Glass. It will be you to be the keepers of all greatest secrets. And our most honorable of quests. Your friend, he will find fine. But alas, he cannot dream as you do. This was always the way it would end. Cletus looks up at him like right into his eyes, almost like a stare down. And kind of extrudes like this voice that you've never actually heard from him. No one has. And very kind of like a deep grunting, like angry old man voice, just like, you never said that any of us were in danger. You told us we would be safe. Why is he hanging over there? I told you. And 
in a fit of rage. He had to be restrained. He could not see our deepest knowledge, our greatest assets, be up to all of you to not only teach him, but the rest of Kebara. So you can let him down now? Of course. Okay. And you see that eerie glow intensify as you all look up to the sky. as that orange glow moves from the parameters of your vision to flying up and over the top of this fort. Knock your fucking arrows. We'll start with dexterity saving throws next week. <laughs> Jesus. That son of a bitch. Fucking hate that guy. <laughs> Took him 10 days to bring everybody back and get him together, though. What a lazy asshole. I mean, they were probably drunk for 10 days. We oh, just said free beer. You guys were so Not close right. to getting out of it. So close to getting out of it. Literally, I was like, damn, they're going to get up and out of this bitch before it happens. I set the bar at five days. Oh, <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? Uh -huh. <laughs> For sleeping for you ten were, whole days. <laughs> oh, if you were sleepy. If you thought yeah. if you thought I had a problem this week, wait wait to get tied up me <laughs> for I'm ten not. days. <laughs> that's that's I want to deal with. <laughs> I'll be poking in front of about this one. <laughs> Can we uh, just go ahead and sneak out real quick? <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are the literal defenders of a culture. Are they going to fight with us? Oh, 100%. So we have to fight the men who I like give my beer to and like like me? Not anymore because you're a filthy traitor. No, it's not that easy. That son of a bitch can't turn him that easy. I just got to talk to him. Let me go talk to him. <laughs> Let me go talk to him. <laughs> Let me go talk to him. <laughs> I can roll 18, 19. What do you need? 18, 19, 20, 17. All no. your tabs are relinquished for the rest of your lives. I'll roll a 30 if you need me to. I don't I'll care. <laughs> you know what's I'll great, though, 30. is that it's it's normally like I roll ones are really shitty. And yeah. it's like, oh, the one time I have a high roll, it's for a shitty reason. It's for a shitty reason. <laughs> like all of us. Cool. All of us threw ones. Yeah. Everyone but you threw a one. Yep. That's just... Yep. That's, that's all I got. Yep. That seems right. Seems right. Oh, oh, boy. Big, big battle. It's okay, though. We're all part dragon now or something. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we got two, two people my, got dragon I, marks. 
No, three. I can use my shit to lap it. No, yeah, everybody's in um, radio can't get them. Nope. Fucking cow star. <laughs> I'm already blessed with, with being tied to a demon soul. So, I mean, come on. I don't need a dragon mark. <laughs> I told you there was a lot to unpack. <laughs> there was. That was like a lore drop. That was just a lore episode. So, it was just <laughs> the heavy, heavy episode. Heavy yeah. episode. Mm. I was. I started to wonder for a second there when it was just me and him that you were gonna have him like bring my dad out. I thought for a second there you were like I. I almost could like feel it in your like role oh. play. I was like, are you actually gonna make my dad appear? Like that'd be some funky shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> dude there's no telling Boy. now you guys all have like the this is the, the the heaviest group that can be fucked with dream cycles of all time <laughs> yeah every single person has something intense now you're tied literally to the cold sun's dream so like you <laughs> you know you uh you, and that's what they do they all share the same dreams and that's how they're able to pass stories to each other and this like greater understanding. Well, now you're like the only non lizard folk that's in that because you touched the coatl and have that mark. We got Garamesh and his nightmares, <laughs> Latash, who literally walks the dreams, and Umber's own journey. And I'm just trying to count electric sheep. Yeah, that'd be interesting <laughs> if we if we can start seeing or peering into other people's dreams, because that'll be that'll be interesting. Like I like uh, I, I'm not going to dive down there because I could talk about stuff like that for too long. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to get Becca to host on the dream. The first NBC that you invade their dreams and I'm just going to let her go crazy. <laughs> They're mine to have. <laughs> Not oh. yours. Well, I, I uh, may have just drugged myself into a worse initiative than the battle for uh, Svardborg. <laughs> yeah, how many oh, is there? Oh, God, no. <laughs> There's a lot of initiative there. There's a lot of people. 18 frost giants. Oh, good <laughs> God. And I am a melee fighter. So I got to take the entire, the entire uh, whole thing. I am <laughs> Punch out deflect fire. Missile. <laughs> deflect <laughs> missile. Deflect <laughs> missile. Deflect <laughs> missile. Deflect <laughs> missile. I don't know. It all depends on what, who knows what you guys end up wanting to do decisions will have to be made where are they right now outside the game yeah there's they've surrounded the in, the entire fort god if i could only be able to talk to them i mean you can shout real loud make yourself that yeah target. but jaws Vok ain't gonna do shit yeah he's oh, so i think annoying. he's doing it right now <laughs> no, I mean, like, he's not going to listen. He's just going to be like, shoot them, them traitors. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know he was oh, from the island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at me. Yeah, look man. at me. Yeah, I am the true man. flame now. <laughs> I am true flame. Yeah, man. I mean, to be honest, they think you're dead. So who knows what's going to happen when you end up. Oh, thanks for the protection oh, card. That's right. They tossed they out a bunch of cards. Dead already. Yeah, I mean, they think you're dead. They, so they anybody that gets cards at the very today. end Chat just starts dealing them out. Today with these. Love it. <laughs> protection. Oh, it's gonna boom. be interesting. Added. I want to go to freaking Garamesh's dream so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shit getting oh, weird. Get weirder and worse. <laughs> <laughs> Up in there. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes. DMX Garamesh edition. God, there's there. so much that came out in this. It's ridiculous. It'd be kind of cool too, Umber, because Cletus can't really make sense of his dreams. It'd be cool if you could actually go in and like explain them to him. No, actually, so yes, but I think the, the coolest part would not actually be me. I think the coolest part would be Laytash because Laytash can literally be a guide in the dream. And I think I, I envision that as like, if, if you have that connected dream, he's literally in there like, what are you dreaming about? Like, oh, I can help with this. Like, cause that's his shit, you know? I'm like, Umber can be yeah. like, okay, here's what I think of this. But like Laytash is, that's like literally his thing. Like yeah. that's, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm envisioning. I'm in the matrix at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I, really I, that's, that's what that's I'm envisioning. You're breathing? Yeah. Dude, I can't, I can't wait for you to start hopping about and helping guide people through theirs. Mm. It's going to be so good. I miss my tavern. <laughs> <laughs> what, what tavern? Who knows? <laughs> that tavern Who is now knows? stinkies. They burn that shit right to the ground. <laughs> no, it'll be there. I promise. I could feel it. <laughs> nah, Bill. Bill's running I mean, it by drinking say, all the ale. You're welcome oh, to Bill God, and McDermott's bar. Bill with all my, he does have all. He's my like, liquor. I got it. I'll stay here. <laughs> just, just drinking. Bill McDermott and Slim. You know they opened it up on the third day. They couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cletus always gave us a key in case it got real bad. You know, I think we should go in there and check check that liquor. <laughs> Like some sort of Thank bad you. Western. <laughs> God, it just sounds awful. Mm. I wouldn't want that ale to get spoiled now. <laughs> Far away from home. You know he wouldn't. You know he wouldn't want his bread not to get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can go for some dwarven bread. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I watched a uh, uh, YouTube of a guy making it there's actually youtubes of it it's really mm, there's some really cool like if you guys haven't checked it out you should definitely look it up it's really mm -hmm. good oh although i do love the overarching like ancient evil dragon demon uprising i'm like man that, this is a lot of really big stuff that's like oh boy now you're a part of this too it's like no pressure guys no you, pressure you guys had one of your friends open up a mine over one of our ancient religious sites that held back ancient evil well now you're implicated <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I, I will say is like, cause I don't want to drag this on too long, but I do feel for recoil, like, cause he's already had those moments of like humanity, like, you know, like I'm, I am this mistake. I'm not like fully, you know, whatever. And now he's like, oh, you all are dreaming and I can't dream and I don't know what's going on. And like, this is, this is so messed up. Like, I just, I feel for the guy. It's awful. Yeah, I feel for him so much. Like Umber feels for him. That's why he's, okay. he said his piece was like, "You guys can't force him to like like this." Because I get it. Like you know, but also Umber's outlook is also skewed. But you know, Man, I get you, it. You want to talk about? One step forward and four steps back. That's the epitome of it. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what he... Oof. Well, the good news is, is that we have a combat coming up so he can get all that rage out. <laughs> he's probably going to shoot. He's probably going to shoot everything. Yeah. Yeah. If you were, if oh, you were, boy. if you were <laughs> tied up for if 10 I was days. tied up for 10 days, I'd probably shoot everything too. <laughs> Honestly, but, but I'd who, probably join the freaking villagers at that point i'd be like no screw these guys they tied me up for 10 days i i may i might even I, I don't know i don't even know if i'm conscious or not Ugh. i might not i may be just be i may be tapped well, out i will i will tell you that from past experience in our story he only went three days in the previous scenario before he was exhausted and worn down because he didn't have the you know the fuel it depends if they gave me fuel or not and i don't i don't know 
I don't know whether yeah. they did or not. I was gonna say he hasn't had fuel in a long time. From hashtag what we lizard hooch. <laughs> Uh, we'll uh, find out next week <laughs> there's definitely <laughs> lizard hooch it just depends on if it got there or not because <laughs> I could see him going on practical don't touch me hunger strike I don't know we'll find out next week appreciate you all for going along the ride we appreciate y'all Thank you, guys. Oh, shit. We got a raid right at the very end. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, Nat20. Much love. We're just finishing up for the evening. Hope y'all session was good. I'll take care.